What up, nerds? Welcome to Movies and Shows with Comics and Pops from Team Nerd Herd. So this week, or this episode, we are going to be talking or reviewing Old Guard that's on Netflix. So the comic book is brought to you from Image, and it's by Greg Rucka and Leonardo Fernandez. I really, really enjoy the comic book. It's currently in two volumes right now, and this story or book or volumes is awesome. I really, really enjoyed the book. Um, it's a great read. I cannot say enough about it as if you noticed, and hopefully you did, the first issue is identical to the opening scene in the movie. It, it is fantastic. I really enjoyed it. And again, the writing from Red Rucka is amazing. I found it to be really um, immersive because of all the characters, the different environments that these these people lived in. Uh, you got so much history, backstory. It was phenomenal. Great read. And I love the diverse cast of characters that are in the story, and as well as a lot of the uh, mysteries and also innuendos that happened in, in the entire book. It's great. Definitely pick it up. You can pick up the first series or first volume right now as a graphic novel. And right and they are going to be doing or are doing um, a volume two that kind of will echo what's going to happen in the um, second part or sequel for the movie. Again, you should pick it up. It's, it's a great read. For me, though, again, the writing is fantastic. The art wasn't so great for me. I found it very, very raw. Uh, it looked like it wasn't inked. It was more pencil work. So there wasn't a lot of filling in um, the characters a lot of times like the faces uh, weren't fully fleshed out so if you're familiar with a lot of like anime you can tell sometimes that they were under a time crunch that a lot of the background characters didn't have a lot of facial features so I felt like it was the same way in this particular uh, comic book that you didn't have a lot of detail but Besides that, it didn't really distract at all from the story. Uh, so it was really, really great. I found it to be an amazing read, really immersive. You should definitely pick it up. Uh, check out your local comic book shop as they might have it on their shelves. So it's not too late to get to pick this thing up. Now, on to the movie. The movie is great. I loved it. Um, as a comic book fan, I felt this was true to the, to the book that I was reading. Uh, they didn't lay any, they didn't leave anything out. I felt that it was a really great adaption of the, the book. I mean, it was phenomenal. I loved it at all. I, I loved how they kept the story of um, uh, the characters and how you can still see that echoed in the movie. Uh, the love story, it, it, it was great. And I liked how uh, Charlize Theron's character, Andy, really had that um, solitary lifestyle and if you read the book you know there's a lot of background to that and why she does what she does now going again back to the movie uh, and I'm sorry I kept flip-flopping it but I really really enjoyed it and I was really excited when Netflix announced that they're gonna be making this into a movie and I, it was it's a so summer blockbuster that's in that's streaming, that, that's right in your home. If this was out in the theaters, oh my God, it would have garnered so much money, <laughs> like in the millions. It was that good, it's so much action. Again, the story was really, really good. And I felt that it was true. Each character was developed accordingly. It wasn't something that was kind of put together. It was nice and progressive. It felt very organic. So if I were you and you probably um, already have watched it. Give it a give it a rewatch. It's there's a lot of little nuances there that you kind of pick up, um, you know, on the second watch. I know I've seen it uh, a couple times already. Heading into my third, though, I'm kind of halfway into the third one. It's I'm still seeing the little details um, that I missed on the first, you know, couple of watches. And again, the action sequences are amazing. Uh, you get a lot of what Charlize Theron did in Atomic Blonde. I mean, she is there kicking so much butt. And I also like the character of Niall. Um, Niall was great. Um, she was, again, 
this kind of introduction into the world of um, Old Guard or these these characters that were immortal. And again, I I really liked it a lot. So I would definitely encourage you to to watch the movie and also pick up the book. Uh, you can't go wrong. And I love the fact that they are making a sequel. Hopefully things will again be just like the book or the second volume. But if not, I mean, it's still enough that it makes me want to see these characters all over again because I felt like I was um, involved in them. Like, you know, what can I say? It was great. Going forward, I definitely pick up, pick up the book, watch the show on Netflix. And if you don't have a Netflix account, make sure to borrow it from a friend, even though you didn't hear that from me. But pick it up. Watch the, watch the movie. You will not not feel like you wasted any time whatsoever. They are there is one huge difference between the books and the movie, but I'm not going to spoil it to you. If you if you're a fan of both, you already know what's going on. And uh, explore the uh, second volume. Uh, the second volume picks up right after the end of the movie, so need to pick it up because again it feels a lot more of that backstory again it's great um definitely watch the movie i encourage you to do it it is a great summer blockbuster something that we need uh during this pandemic to kind of keep us um involved and in, and enthralled into all of this so definitely do that so in conclusion if you want to do it right watch what you like Yeah.